on this episode of Dual Survival. You all right? Yeah. Teamwork's essential as Cody and Joe struggle to escape the Nicaraguan jungle. You okay? Outdoor survival skills instructor Cody Lundin and 20-year special ops veteran Joe Teddy. Two guys with two completely opposing survival philosophies will show how to descend a sloping jungle landscape. In this scenario, after making it to the summit of Madeiras, two hikers become disoriented and separated in the thick canopy jungle. To make matters worse, one yeah. has fallen into a ravine and dislocated his kneecap. Right now, Cody and I are separated. My very first priority is to find him. Cody! If you can look right here, either he slipped and his hand hit this or his foot, this moss has been broken off, and here's one small piece of this tree which is fresh. Somebody or something has been through here. It's gotta be him, it's very fresh. I know I'm on the track. Cody! A lot of local people here do make whistles out of bamboo. So I'm gonna separate this from the mother plant. I'm gonna try making a whistle with this one. Now that my injury is stabilized, I wanna be found. I'm not really gonna hike out here on my own. So I wanna be as visible as possible, make as much noise as possible to bring someone to me. So I'm gonna take this material, I'm gonna blow on the end, and I'm just gonna pinch it, and we'll see what kind of noise I can get out of it. If you're not making an effort to be found, you're already freaking dead. Cody! Cody! Yeah. You all right? Well, I've been better, but I'm all right. All right, don't have, really have a choice. <laughs> That's that mother root, the one you're straddling. You okay? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, just hold on. Biggest thing we climb, and you always have to have three points of contact on a cliff, whether it's two hands and a foot or two feet and a hand. And I did. So that saved me right there. All right. Now by your left knee. Got it. God, dude. <laughs> and I was, I thought you were going to come tumbling down from up there. Good job. Oh, whew. Well, That's a badass one. Yeah, I mean, I, I did the best I can with what I could, like you did on the climb. <sighs> I'm pretty impressed with Cody's splint. With what he had to use and materials here, he did an outstanding job. Now check this out. You have an area that an animal, without a doubt, has been walking through here. I mean, you can look at the ground's been pushed down, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this piece of bamboo and I'm gonna make a V-trap. The trick is to split this all the way down to about right here. The idea is to split the bamboo, put a twig in between it, hang the bait off of it. As the animal takes the bait, the bamboo will slap shut and snap its neck. The two pieces come together, We'll definitely, we'll definitely catch it. This is the trigger. I'm gonna use an end of line bowling to attach a wild grape that I found as bait. You could definitely smell this, it's extremely pungent. It's very juicy. Anything in this area, it'll smell it for sure. Right there. Don't even sneeze. Trap set, it's good to go. I've gotta get back, the sun's going down, Cody's waiting for me and we got a shelter to make. Joe and Cody prepare a shelter for their first night in the thick jungle landscape. I plan on building a simple lean-to. 
We're both exhausted. I want something just to keep the rain off of us if it rains tonight. A couple support beams and some big leaves across the top, done. Check out the size of these leaves, man. Wow, that's <laughs> a huge score. Do we need any more in the backside here? That looks pretty good from what I can see here. What we need to do is put a piece of bamboo on the back of these just to make sure they hold down. All right. What happened? Too big! <laughs> that trap, no doubt, broke its neck. It was already dead when I came up, or I gave it a good whack. What the hell's that? <laughs> it's an agouti? What's goody about it? No, agouti. Agouti. On a volcanic island in Nicaragua, Joe and Cody have only one chance to make fire by transferring the heat from an exposed light bulb filament. You ready to rock and roll? Which will burn out in less than a second once the flashlight is powered. On the count of three, the snipers pull their trigger. One, two, boom. Right. right. One, two. Hey, yeah! Three. Start ripping that up. Start putting it right over this. Come on, Cody, do your thing, brother. More Got it. Let me put it on. Got it. Keep ripping it up. Go <sighs> here, here, look, look, look. Uh, oh, yeah! <laughs> Woo! We're not out of the loop. Yeah, yet. baby. Hold on. Here. Put it on. Don't crush it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mission accomplished. We've got fire. Congratulations. Dude, outstanding <laughs> job, man. <laughs> I told you I hate to lose. You ready to eat this thing? You betcha. Mmm. <laughs> That's a goody. Oh, bro. That is tasty. That's really good. I needed that. For two able-bodied men, descending a steep drainage trail is a grueling and dangerous proposition. I want to be on you okay. totally here in a little bit. Yep. OK. You good? I'm good. But with one injured party, it is an excruciatingly slow and painful exercise in coordination and teamwork. If you can get your left foot on this rock, you'll be good to go. Yeah, this is no problem. Nope, good. When you're working as a team, communication is paramount. You have got to know what the right hand is doing and what the left hand is doing. If he's leaning forward and I'm leaning back and he goes to grab for me, he's going down. Hey, Cody, I see an opening up here. And I think I see the lake. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Cody, I see smoke down there. Look, right over top of these tree lines. Yeah, we're red hot, man. Yep, not too much farther, brother. Let's do it. Hey, Joe, check it out. Hola! Hola! All right. <laughs> yeah. If you're out in the woods and you're injured and you're with someone else who's not injured, the teamwork play between the two of you will determine whether you live or die. Sight for sore eyes. It's like forging a steel link. If the two partners cooperate, that link is unbreakable and it's strong. 
if the two parties get in conflict, that metal gets brittle and it shatters, and both of you may end up six feet under the ground. Hola. Hola. If you work together, stay focused, and work your plan, you're gonna come out the other end. If you don't, Mother Nature is going to put you in your place. Hey, Ola, 